so think of it logically logically it is logically it is a single table but you are creating two copies of it customer a and customer b as you can see in this query customers has a and customers is b you are creating a two a two tables so think of it in your mind create two tables in a diagram format and then say you are only interested in when cities are equal but you are not interested in when the customer id which is let's say if i say if i'll open up this table in the, in the, in the next window and run this query and you will see what i am trying to say here but I, what i am saying is the two partition the same table has been partitioned or same table structure has been copied twice in the memory and they are matching cities with the cities but we are not matching the customer id with the customer id so in this case if i open up Just that. This is the A part of that, and this is the B part of that. So both tables are identical. Both are from customers. Customer has been replicated twice, and this is B, right? So far, so good. and then we have some rows in here so i'm just going to this is the row 1 row 2 same as row 1 row 2 this is customer a with the id let's say or with the id let's say 1 and this is the customer with the id 2 same will be happening here There you go. So IDs are one and one, two and two. Cities is red deer, red deer, red deer, red deer. But what I'm interested is in is that when ID is equals to ID, don't don't worry about that one. So when ID is equals to ID, don't worry about that. But when ID is not equals to ID, but if the cities are okay, then it is okay. So what it will do, it is. Uh, just tell tell it so if even one id is not matching with two which is okay but if their cities are similar then we are retrieving it so we created literally in the memory for single table we created two copies of that table join it together within that logically and then we are uh showing that result so yes we can do a self join on a on a on the on a single table just like we can write the sub queries we can write a self join as well and that is why a small trick is there so if they if they say within the same table can you find me the employees living in the same city can you give me that that is what is happening or the customers living in the same city and that is essentially here what is happening so let's run this query it's a very easy query to understand now because we have replicated a and b but let's try it first here if i go here i'll copy this query in the memory for for a moment if i go to customers and this is the customers table 
let's let me just sort it by order by city now it's all ordered by city so Buenos Aires <coughs> has two uh, three occurrences Buenos Aires Buenos Aires and Buenos Aires when the table join will happen 54 matching with another 54 will be ignored but 54 matching uh, but in the other case of that join where it says city is equals to city so this guy oceano atlantico limited uh, whatever is having a city Buenos Aires will be copied will be will be matched with the guys city again with the Buenos Aires this uh, cactus guy and then IDs are not similar but the cities are same so it will give me the required result so keep that in mind hopefully I think that's gonna we will see in the output so if I'll go back and run this SQL and look at this Oceano is matching with that and this guy and then same happens here cactus is not matching with the ocean so this is a duplicate is happening within that same query but at the moment that's okay my main target was and same thing oh, rancho is matched with this and then rancho will be matched with. so it's a it's a it's all possible combination but at least at this stage i am able to figure out what are uh, the guys belonging to the same cities okay can you now the challenge part is can you rewrite this query and give me only the Buenos Aires repeated only once so i know there are multiple guys so let me repeat that before i give you that so i know there are multiple guys or multiple customers living in that same city but i don't want these bunch of all duplicates i want Buenos Aires to be shown once i don't care i don't want to see the customer names but i all i need to identify i do i have multiple customers belonging to the same city that's the only query and i need that city only once i can tell that yes i do have guys who are belonging to multiple um, uh, multiple guys belonging to the same city and i can see them them and their names but i don't want to see their names i just want to see i want to identify that culprit city can you give me that I just find, want to need the name of the city. I don't want any other column using the self join. No duplicates, nothing, just repeated once. So you can go to W3 school and write this query. I'm just mentioning it here. This is what I'm looking for.
Okay. So definitely I don't need these two. I want just the So what's the issue? Unspecified error occurred. Control Z. Unspecified error occurred. Select A dot city from this, this, this. Literally, that's what I did. Oh, okay. Do I need to put a group by? It's not giving me. The answer. So can I refresh? You try to execute as an aggregate function. At least it's giving me the error. You try to execute a query that does not include the expression city as a part of an aggregate function. So group by b.city. I think it should be a.city. It should be. Yeah. Yeah, so Dean, you just have to change it to a dot city because that's the column you are, that's the column you are referring to, and then that should be the same column you should put in the city. Uh, it should work. I sh think it should work if you have mentioned b dot city, but no, I think it's very very specific. Yeah. Oh, yours worked under b dot city. Okay, let me try that. Should work, but. Okay, it's not working for me. <laughs> Let's try that. Let's see B and then B dot city. I'm sure it will work now. So let's say if I don't do a group by, what happens? Then I will have an error. All of these guys are, are repeated multiple times. So what's the other thing that I can do? distinct same group by or distinct i like group by more because that gives me a clear understanding of it distinct is just getting rid of duplicates grouping means you are grouping everything together at a, at a one okay i don't know like you typed a dot city and b dot city in the group by and it worked i know logically because they are getting joined in a dot city is equals to so uh, either you write it this way or you can type as an inner join and then do that as well that's not a problem i'm not wor worried about inner join but let's say convert into an inner join inner join on a dot this so that makes me wonder one more thing Inner join can happen on multiple conditions, not just one condition. So a dot city is equals to b dot city is one condition, but we also have a condition where they are not matching. Usually, when we type with the commas, we don't usually do that. But here you go. If I run this query now, it's the same result. So I took it out from the commas and put them as an inner join. A dot customer and B dot cust um, A is the custo customers A, customers B, and I'm joining them on these two conditions. I can join them only on this condition, but it will make a little bit of misery because now 
or not not in there but if considering if it will be an original query then it will be a little bit of miserable data but i'm not going to run that but i all i wanted to show you yes you can join two table or you can join a single table together have i guy have i gone over with you guys common table expression please uh, remember that because i was with uh, another class and i'm not sure if i have gone over with you guys on that it's common table expression just remind me common table expression have i gone over with you if not let me know i know i have covered uh, optimal query optimization